mystical magical creatures and my creatures of the night how are you doing this lovely afternoon today I've got quite the makeup video for you guys and it's not going to be tutorials but it's basically reviews so first off um, I recently got this month's ipsy bag and it is inspired by beautiful bohemian and I simply love the bohemian look I think it's really flower child and like natural products wavy hairs ombres and it's, I just think it's beautiful so let's open this shall we magical <laughs> so uh, the first thing that I took out in this bag is the ultra light face lotion which is mixed with witch hazel and lavender which is really good it's meant to clear clear skin for a radiant life and who doesn't want a radiant life i mean come on and um it's an everyday moisturizer so that's the first thing that came in the bag the next thing is a nail polish which the shade isn't exactly my cup of tea i'm not much of a pink person but um, I do enjoy this color. It's nice to look at. I don't know about wearing it personally. I might like mix it with some black to make it like a darker kind of color. But I still think it's a pretty cute color just in general. Uh, the next thing is a kind of sheer shimmery lipstick by Star Looks. And let me tell you, I love this. It just kind of just goes on and it's practically invisible. Like, watch this. But it's really sheer. It's really sheer and very moisturizing. I really like this product. It's probably um, one of my favorites in this entire bag. Uh, the next thing is a nude eyeshadow. From, it's by the bomb the bomb cosmetics and this is the nude dude and there's a little dude in the front and that's the the swatch of the eyeshadow which I really like by the way it's just like for those calm makeup days where you don't want to be so extravagant and the last thing is this um, roll-on perfume and I like that it's roll-on because it's just so easy use and it smells nice it's not like an overpowering smell it's just kind of subtle like you just walk past somebody and they're like hmm she smells nice it's, it's kind of like that I, I really like the scent and I'd probably buy this in a bigger bottle because I really do like this but I like the convenience of the roll on so that is the ipsy bag I've really been using this bag a lot, not only because I like the style of the bag, but I love everything in this bag. And um, I've been rocking kind of like a natural kind of look for the past couple of days, just like testing it out and everything. And I really like it. It's cute. I can still like goth it up a little and I can still like not have any dark colors on my face and still feel like... I don't know myself so I mean that's probably just my personal style but that's how I like it anyway on to the next thing I recently went on to a video and um, I was looking at makeup forever's foundations because I realized I was kind of feeling like I was getting low on some foundations and um, if you're a frequent viewer you already know that I have the Makeup Forever is HD foundation that I reviewed for you guys a couple weeks ago I will put the link to that down below so um, this time I went on to Makeup Forever and I got the matte velveteen and I heard a lot of good things about this and I do have oily combination skin my t-zone is always really oily and like my cheeks are always pretty dry like the whole outer part of my face is dry and the t-zone is just the oily part so it's oily combination skin and I'm really acne prone and I like a foundation to be kind of thick to like cover that so 
I heard this was going to do the thing. It's more of a medium coverage, I think, but um, I tried it out yesterday while I was out and about through my day, and I really liked the results I got. It didn't, like, my face was kind of oily, but not as oily as it would have been if I was wearing an ordinary foundation. I don't get very oily with this one either, but I feel like with this one I was less oily, so that was always nice. And, um, I did finish it with a finishing powder, and the finishing powder I used was the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Pressed Powder, which is a transparent powder like this, and I really, really enjoy this powder because it just makes everything look so seamless and just HDs everything. So I'm going to review this for you while using my new Real Technique brushes. <laughs> and I tell you this is going to be quite the makeup video? Yeah. I got more surprises for you, so don't worry. It's not over yet. <laughs> but, um, in a few videos, you've seen me use, like, these purple brushes, and some people have been asking me, like, what are these? Are these Real Technique brushes? No, Real Technique's face facial brushes are orange, like this one, and, um, this one's pink because I think the pink is for the multitasking or, like, blushes. I don't know. And then the purple is for the eyeshadow. So, these are eyeshadow brushes, Real Technique, bootlegs, but, um, I will say the difference between the two is that Real Technique brushes are a bit softer and more thicker and more tapered than my bootleg brushes, but, you know, I love my bootleg brushes, three dollars for the whole set, it's, you can't beat eBay, <laughs> I can't even remember what seller I got them from either, so, I'm sorry. But so let's get started on this bad boy, okay? Now the first thing I really like about this container is that it's plastic and it's a squeeze tube. And so I can just add a little bit of it to my hand. Take off the glasses. Take the brush and just work my way around. And thing about this is that it really blends pretty easily into the skin and you don't have to work it too much. It doesn't give me like a full full coverage like I'll still have to use foundation and I mean foundation I'll still have to use a concealer but um it gives just this totally natural look and the thing I like most about all Makeup Forever um, foundations is that they're buildable. So it's really hard to get a cakey kind of look out of this. And I find that plausible. This is just one squeeze. This is just one go. And I think I did pretty well for just the one. But I'm definitely going to go over it again with a second layer for a more flawless finish. So let's go in with the second pump, which isn't going to be as much because I'm just going to take it and go over my troubled areas. So like the forehead and my cheeks. Another thing I really like about um, Makeup Forever is that if you go to their personal website, they show you how to get certain looks or how to use some of their products, and I find that to be extremely helpful. Okay, next, buff it in with my bootleg foundation brush. And just doing quick taffy motions. 
get the seamless look. Blend it into the neckline, very important. You don't want to just look like you have on some kind of weird face mask, right? Blend for your life, honey. Blend for your life. Okay. So this is the second layer. Let's have a look-see. Pretty, pretty good. Mmm. Another thing, I bought this foundation online, and I got this one in the stores. Now, the bottles look completely different in as far as, like, shade goes, so it was kind of hard for me to determine what my correct skin tone was going to be. So, um, I know that this one was a 73, and this one was a 70, but... On their website, they don't do numbers, they go by, like, names. They had this one described as a caramel with beige undertones. And I was looking at the little swatch that they have on it, on the website, and I thought, that looks kind of like my tone, like, it kind of looks like the bottle of this, the other one. So, I was like, alright, sure, I'll get it. If anything, if it doesn't match, you know, I'll just return it and get the next color, if it's too light. That worked for me, and it can be a bit orangey, I suppose, at times. I did find myself turning a little orange yesterday, but an orange undertones just make my skin look more warm, not really orange, so it was fine. I just looked like a warm person. <laughs> With this one, I actually have to add like an orangey kind of undertone to it with my um, Garnier's BB Cream in Deep. Yeah, with that. And um, I don't think I have to with this one because it does fine by itself. So, I like it. I really do. And um, now we're just going to set it with the HD. And you guys tell me if you notice if I go from like flat face to like dimensional or something okay so let's see give it a nice tap and on the website they say you just roll it onto the skin to get the flawless but I kind of roll and pat I don't know that's my thing because if I just roll it, it doesn't really blend so the white kind of residue just kind of like stays there on the face and I'm just like eh, I look like the ghost of Christmas past which is not at all the look we want to go for so I do patty motions just slightly setting it on a dova mm -hmm. so I did that do I look HD to you. Okay, so my little creatures, that is my official review on the Makeup Forever the Matte Velveteen and the Makeup Forever HD Press Powder. And my t final review, now that it's been a couple of minutes and like everything's set and all that stuff, and I did like the rest of my face, as you can see the rest of my face I um I really quite enjoy this uh, this is a new lipstick I got the Kat Von D studded lipstick recently and um, it's cute but I'm not much of a fan because it kind of um, it kind of rubs off I don't know maybe it's just because it's new now and you know the glossiness on top or the preservatives on the top layer are like making it defective but we'll see how it goes over the span of a couple of weeks I'll give it another try because I really like her blush and I know she knows her stuff about lipsticks because she's always wearing lipsticks so I'm going to give you some time but anyway 
Antsy Bag. Don't forget, I'm going to put a link below in case you want to subscribe to Etsy and get your own bag and like we can totally discuss about the things that we get in our bags. <laughs> Whatever. So that's it. I'll see you next video my little creatures. Bye!